Today I'm going to be making tangkong jorim, which is a Korean for braised peanuts. And this makes really wonderful banchan. If you can find uh, fresh or raw peanuts in your uh, neighborhood supermarket, I would highly recommend it. Please do not use roasted peanuts for this. Here I have maybe two cups of uh, peanuts. I've actually soaked it in water overnight. It's really quite moist. And one thing about uh, raw peanuts is that you have to boil it and uh, get rid of the first water because it can be quite bitter. Turn the heat on. Put the peanuts into a pot. And I'm going to pour water just to cover the peanuts. And I'm not adding any seasoning to it. I'm just going to let it boil for until it becomes really hot and boiling. Then I'll drain the water. So we'll just have to wait for the water to boil. Now the peanuts are boiling. So when it boils the, for the first time, you get a lot of scum. And you have to make sure that you skim all the scum out of the uh, broth. Because that really causes the peanut to be bitter at the end. And you boil it for about, you know, three to four minutes and you make sure that it's um, cooked but still maintains that nice and crunchy taste to it. Mm. It's almost like you want it al dente. So I'm going to turn it off, drain the um, first water from the peanuts and then we'll season it. So uh, the seasoning, I actually pre-mixed it. Rice wine, sugar, and soy sauce. You can actually see below in the note for the exact measurements. And I will put the peanuts in to a medium heat. Okay, you don't want it to be too hot because you're actually braising the peanuts and you want to make sure that the sauce is soaked into the peanuts. For this, I'm going to let it boil like this for about five minutes. So I don't know if you can see the inside, but the sauce has dwindled or evaporated and it's become really quite thick and it's coated the peanuts evenly. So even without adding any kind of oil to it, the peanut looks really nice and shiny here. So you have to cook this at medium low heat until the sauce evaporates and becomes thick like this. To this, as a final step, I'm going to add, of course, sesame seed. Uh, although this is really shiny and enough, I'm going to add maybe a little bit of sesame oil. This will add to the taste and also make it, you know, it will stay shiny, even in the refrigerator. These banchan, you keep in the refrigerator for up to three to four weeks. You want to make sure that they remain or maintain that original taste and look. Okay, so it's all the, um, the sauce has evaporated. It's become quite nice and syrupy and sticky. So it's ready. I'm going to turn the heat off. Transfer to a um, plate. So again, let me try it and see how it tastes. Take a couple. Mmm. I don't know if you can hear the noise. It's really still nice and crunchy, but it's sort of salty, sweet outside. It's really perfect for your lunch boxes and for espanchan. Hope you enjoy. See you next week.